Hey gang, it's Platt, back with another episode of Value Spirits. This particular episode, I broke, broke out the JMO. That's right, Jameson Irish Whiskey. Uh, I purchased this bottle at $26.99. You should be able to find it easily under $30 at every liquor store on the planet. If it's a liquor store, it probably carries this. This is one of the big names in uh, alcohol for sure. Little background on the Jamesons. Uh, it was founded in 1780 at the Bow Street Distillery in Dublin, Ireland. Of course, it was founded by John Jameson. Uh, even though he was the king of Irish whiskey, he was raised in Scotland and before the distillery, he was a lawyer. Now, John uh, married a young lady named Margaret Haig. If that name sounds familiar, her father was John Haig of Haig Scotch, a brand that is still around today. Um, somehow, people always seem to be marrying in the business. I guess I need to work my profile on Tinder then. Uh, by uh, 1805, he brought his son, John Jameson II, in to help run the business, and that is because business was booming. Even though they just opened in 1780, by 1805, they had become the largest whiskey brand in the world. Uh, at the time, Irish whiskey was taking off. It was in its boom period. It was only second to, at the time, rum. Rum, back in the colonial days, was the uh, biggest produced and sold spirit in the world, And but uh, Jameson was right there with them. Um, by the early 1800s, Jameson had grown so much, they were producing a million gallons per year. That's great today, but 200 plus years ago, that is pretty impressive. Move ahead to the uh, 1960s, 1966 specifically, and Jameson, uh, in a very different time for the whiskey business, Jameson ended up merging with uh, Cork Street Distillery and Powers to basically become the Irish whiskey company. I believe sometime around then, they were literally the only distillery producing Irish whiskey in the world, even though there were other brands. Uh, in 1976, 10 years later, they end up uh, shutting down the Bow Street Distillery and a couple others and shifted all production to the new Middleton Distillery, which is where they're headquartered today. Uh, today they have all their uh, all the brands, Jameson, Middleton, Patties, Powers, Redbreast, Spot. Uh, they pretty much are Irish whiskey. Uh, luckily though, in the last few years there have been other distilleries in Ireland popped up, but they still are the uh, big boy for sure. Uh, real quickly, let's talk about some of their other whiskeys. And I'm not talking about the other brands like Powers or Milton or whatever, just uh, Jameson's brands. They have um, a small line, but they do have uh, several new things they've added in. Uh, first is Jameson Black Barrel. This is a double charred barrel that the whiskey goes into. You're going to pick up more of those, uh, those roasted or toasted uh, wood sugars. Uh, you're going to get a little darker color on it. It's a little more aggressive uh, barrel notes on that particular one. Next is Jameson Caskmate, the Stout Edition. This is Jameson finished in a stout barrel. Apparently, they had a working relationship with some breweries, and uh, thus this would create it. Uh, I believe they also have an IPA edition to that. Lastly is Jameson 8-year, 18-year. They... I've never seen a 21 or anything older, but they do have an 18-year-old Jameson. Have not tried it, but I'll definitely uh, keep an eye out for that. If you're looking for longer-aged Irish whiskeys, the Red Breast are uh, the way to go there. Uh, as far as uh, Jameson, before we jump in on this, let's talk about what's actually in the bottle. This is Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey is different from scotch and bourbon, most whiskeys. Uh, your average whiskey is double distilled. This is triple distilled. The, extra distillation each time you distill. You strip off some of them off flavors. Some people will say you strip off some good flavors too. That's everybody's you know personal opinion, but it is triple distilled. It is also a blended whiskey. They, they have pot stilled and column stilled whiskeys both into this. The pot stilled whiskeys are what's called malt whiskeys, which are, they use the term malt interchangeably with barley or malted barley. Uh, the pot stills are the classic malt whiskeys. The grain whiskeys are, uh, or the column distilled whiskeys are what they call grain whiskeys. And what's grain whiskey is anything distilled not from malted barley. So it could be wheat, it could be rye, it could be corn, it could be all three. So they basically will run the pot stills with malted, you know, for malt whiskey, column stills for grain whiskeys, bring them together and blend them. 
All right, enough about that. Let's drink some Jameson. All right, you get a little bit of that vanilla on the nose. Uh, not a ton of wood, but a little, little wood is on there. Uh, but it's not hot. Uh, I believe this is, uh, yep, 80 proof, so it's not, not high proof, you know. It's right at the limit, but uh, pleasant nose, not too aggressive. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, a nice sweetness to it. Um, I get a little bit of that classic vanilla that you get from the, the wood, um, some honey. Uh, yeah, this is real nice. It's a real easy drinking whiskey. It's really approachable. Uh, Jameson, uh, in my opinion, is one of those whiskeys, though, that obviously, you know, you throw in ginger ale or, you know, whatever, uh, you want. Uh, I don't do the pickleback thing, but again, you can drink it however you want, but you can drink this neat. You can drink this. <coughs> uh, I'd rather drink it neat than on the rocks, I think, but I, I, to be honest, it's been a long time since I've tried it on the rocks, but this is still something you could do as a shot. This is, you know, this gets shot a lot of times. And you, to my opinion, you don't need the backs or whatever. Um, it could be just consumed in many ways. I don't know if this is something I would put into like the classic whiskey cocktails, like, like a uh, Manhattan or an old fashioned. Uh, they, those are intense flavors and this is smooth. This might be a little too smooth for those kind of cocktails. But again, mixers and stuff uh, works absolutely fabulous. Yeah, it's 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 more just a, kind of a nice toasty note on there. Uh, I believe they use, use bourbon barrels or second fill barrels. Uh, so you're not pulling out quite as much uh, from the barrel. This is just a nice, easy drinking whiskey. Uh, if you've ever seen the operation at uh, Jameson, I've never been in the actual distillery, but I've seen uh, videos on it. It's an impressive operation, massive place, and they still put out a good product. And again, we're talking about under 30 bucks for 80 proof, aged spirit. Um, not a bad uh, price, I say. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for Value Spirits, please leave it in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.